J.T. J.T., get your bones out of that bed now, you hear me? By the time I get you out of bed, I'm ready to get back in myself. J.T.? I don't want to have to call you again now, you hear me? I don't know what's hard. Getting out of bed in the morning, getting in bed at night. J.T., get up. J.T., I got to call you one more time. You're going to get it, you hear me? Now. I wouldn't put them batteries so close to my brain. You're liable to get transistorized. And don't you be long in there. bus station at 435 sharp, and I want you there to meet her to help her get home. I go myself, but the store won't let me off, being so near Christmas and all. Okay. Now, you go to the information booth, and you ask the man... Listen. You ask the man what platform the bus from Knoxville is due on. They'll tell you. You be there waiting for here. I'm depending on you now. You hear me, J.T.? Hi, yeah. Day so cold and all. Need to have something hot to eat. Want me to fix you something hot to eat, babe? No. <laughs> Mama, please. I need me some money. For what? The radio. The batteries is getting low. Seemed to me like you such a big time hustler and all, you might have thought to steal some batteries too. Oh, Mama, you all the time nagging me. You better be glad I'm nagging you. Seems like you've been turning bad since the day your daddy left. Gotta go to school. JT, JT. 430 sharp, you hear me? I hear, I hear. Hi, 
God, JT. Nice radio, isn't it? Too bad we saw it first. All right, JT. Give us the radio. Come on, give me the radio. If you don't give it to us, we're going to take it anyway. Come on. What's the matter? What's going on here? Hey, be careful. Go on. Outside.
So that's where you've been. Oh. Hiding. Wrote you something. I hope you like it. Man, you sure must be hungry. margarine milk instead of buttermilk. Oh, it sure is good to have you here. reaches in my change purse and pulls out a quarter and pushes it in the place where it says to. Then I punch his grapes, so just like I'm supposed to. And you know what that contraption did? Huh? Oh, it spread out grape soda all right. Huh. Only it forgets the paper cup. <laughs> <laughs> well, just as that last little bit of purple liquid begin to disappear down the drain, Plops the paper cup as pretty as you please. But a little late if you ask me. <laughs> I will say one thing, though. I got my quarterback. Leastwise, that uh, machine was uh, honest. Dumb, but honest. Even a machine knows you can't get by by being dishonest. What 
you want for Christmas, child? A cat. What? I want me this cat I found. You reckon I can have him? Please. He's near dead. He needs a home. I don't have me enough trouble. I got to nurse me a half-dead cat. I swear, I ain't got the sense she was wrong, but... Anyhow, the only animals they allow in this place is rats. Oh, Mama, he's liable to die. Please. Couldn't I have him? Cat's got nine lives. Losing one won't matter much. Those X's in them windows across the way. What that mean? Seemed like a bad sign to me. Looks like they're playing tic-tac-toe with the buildings. That means they're gonna tear down the buildings. Well, whoever's got the O's is losing. Sweet dreams. Thank you, JT. Our own little DJ. Why, if it wasn't for you and that lovely music that you keep playing constantly, I reckon everybody on this floor would just about sleep the day away. You know, we are planning to get a group together so that we can express our sincere appreciation for your evening and morning serenades. Your brain is going to turn into a battery one of these days. Gotta go to start a fourth school. Hmm. Charge it. If he say anything to you about the bill, tell him I'll take care of it soon. As soon as I get paid. Now run on. And turn that thing down for heaven's sake. Sound of lard and buttermilk, please. Don't worry. I'm not forgetting what I owe you. I'll square up with you next month for sure. Don't worry. Who is worrying? I know you're not running away. When you have it, you're famous. It's a half like his punch. If you please, it's so like it was a caretaker. What's the matter? He is so uh, starved, he can't afford to give a little credit. The trouble with you is you always have something to worry about. And three cans of tuna fish, please. Giving people a break, that is one thing, please. But letting people take advantage of you? This is something else. Yeah. But it shows me it's my mistake. <laughs> Did I know when I married you, you'll turn out to be Mr. Instant Credit Card himself? Mm. Charge it. Mama said she'll pay you as soon as she gets paid. Now you tell your mama. It is two months now. It's not a penny. Two months. Sarah, please. Not to the board. here, Mr. Feisty Pants. You're going to be late for school. Bye. Good morning. Ah. How are you? Station in New York City. Uh huh. So that's the one. You like that, don't you? Okay.
What's the matter with you? My eyes. Maybe you need glasses. Do you know the motorcycle under the wise men? Do you know who drew it? Did you? Yeah. You sure can draw. Can you draw cats? Oh, sure. I could if I wanted to, only I don't want to. I just like to draw motorcycles. Say, your eyes. Your eyes really do look bad. I'm sure you need glasses. Don't worry if you do. They're not so bad. You'll get used to them. I checked the lab reports this morning. They said you'll be all right. And your heart is In case you don't remember me, I'm Dr. J.T. Gamble. I'm going to take your pulse and listen to your heartbeat now. Your pulse is normal. Now I'm going to listen to your heartbeat. You'll be all right. It's 4.85. OK. Thank you. Three cans of tuna fish, please. In case you don't remember what I'm holding in my hand, it's cash. You see, they have still Mr. Lincoln's face on the throne. Well, something never changed. Uh, charger, please. Oh, how many times do I have to tell you? You turn into a frozen vegetable in there. I'm not going to Alaska. Mama. I'm ashamed of all this back sewing I got. It seems like there's a hole appearing all button disappearing every time JT turns around. Don't look like I'll ever get caught up. He's so hard on his clothes. What boy ain't? Besides, sewing and rocking is my idea of a pleasant way to pass an evening. He always is. He doesn't have his radio on tonight, and that's peculiar. Maybe the batteries is dead. When you get through with your big cutting job, you can bring your scissors over here. Now you keep this on, because I want your eye to get better. OK? That's why I made it. Don't knock that off. Forty-one sixty-five. What? Forty-one sixty-five. Uh-oh. 
she was going to a mix-up. I never purchased no tuna fish. Would I cheat you? No, but I didn't buy any. I'll tell you the truth. I was wondering myself why all of a sudden so much tuna fish. But your boy's been buying it like it was going out of style. You sure he's my boy? The little boy with the radio in his head. He's yours, isn't he? Well, <laughs> there is no mistake. Last week he was in here three times. Seems like every time I get a nickel's worth of difference between me and my bills, that boy does something to set me back. Sums up to be a little more than I planned. Could I give you 25 now and... Don't worry. From now on, uh, please don't sell him anything on credit. Unless it's written down on paper as my list. You know what you need, Mr. Bones? A nice house. You stay here and watch me build it. This is your new house. Took care of the tuna fish and charge it, please. Uh huh. No more credit for you, young man. You are a very bad boy, cheating on your mother. You should be a help to her. Instead, you are a heartbreak. You'll turn out to be a bum. You watch what I say. You should be ashamed of yourself. But from now on, the only credit you get here is what your mother has written on her list. Wow. You sure can eat. All gone. But don't worry. I'll get you some more. J.T. Now, what made you decide to pay us a visit? You're not Santa Claus, you know. We really expect to see you more than once a year. Have you finished your composition, J.T., what Christmas means to me? Not quite. You haven't even started it, have you? No. Okay, J.C., well, you're just gonna have to start it this afternoon. Well, you'll be in my room, right after school. I'll be grading papers, none of which will be yours, I might add. You be there! Well, J.T., you know, it's too bad we don't have a course in missing persons. You just might pass that one. I don't know that you're going to pass anything else. Are you listening to me? J.T., you can play hooky from school, but you can't play hooky from yourself. Please, Mrs. Rowan, can I go now? I have something real important to do. How much have you done in your composition? Is it so hard? Look, can't you just... Tell me what Christmas means to you. Just write down what you feel. Don't you feel anything? There must be, there must be something that means something to you, JT. Can I go now? I gotta go somewhere. I'm really disappointed in you, JT. I expected more out of you. <sighs> okay, well, you're not getting anything done here. Okay, go ahead. Go on.
is that your cat? I'm sorry, kid. I don't feel like doing no Christmas decorating this year. JT won't even know the difference. There ain't no Christmas tree gonna jolt him out of his misery. I've been unfair to him, Mama. Put all my frustrations on that boy. I lost how to reach him. Would you like to have a midnight snack with me? I made some boiled custard. I know how bad you're hurting, honey. That cat, he was something real special to you. I know. You. You something special too. You are. Why did it have to happen? Why? Why? Oh, child, I wish I could give you the answer. But I don't know. Seemed like life got a whole lot more questions than answers to it. You start out young asking questions, and you end up old asking questions. And the puzzlement is, they're mostly the same questions. There's just a very few years in between well, you think you got the answers to match up with the questions. Why did it have to happen? Why? Mm, death is a mean way to have to learn about life. But that's the way of it sometimes. That's just the way of it. What well, Mama said about cats having nine lives, that's just an old saying, ain't it? Ain't no truth to it, is there? Well, now there's some truth to them old sayings. That's how they get to be old sayings. Then maybe my cat. Maybe he's still living somewhere. Of course, when I found him, he was sure beat up. But maybe he still has some lives to live. Sure he has. Sure he has. He just gone someplace better to live him, that's all. But you. What about you? You just got one life to live. What you gonna do with it? I don't understand. I just don't understand. I don't understand nothing. What you got to understand, child, is yourself. And that's no easy matter. Cause you a right complicated little person. You are. Now if you want answers, you just better listen to your heart. The patterns in there ain't dead.
feel good, don't you? Hi, baby. Well, I can't wait to get back home and tell them about this church up here. In all my born days, I ain't never seen a church which advertises itself with lit up neon signs out front. I know. This city's something else. Let me tell you, that's a fact. You ask me, the place looks more like a place where you drink instead of a place to wash it. <laughs> if the preacher hadn't been standing up there quoting the scripture, I'd have swore I was in a nightclub. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing, though. The congregation was very well dressed and the choir so well practiced. But the church itself... Oh, Mama, you know you liked it. Hello? Good evening. Pardon my intrusion. I hope I'm not disturbing you. No, you're not. I have a little something for the boy. Come in. Come right on in. <laughs> May I take your coat? No, 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 no. Thank you. Don't bother. I can't stay. I just have a minute. I thought I, I'd bring this by. It's for the boy. Well, what a surprise. My, ain't this something? I Excuse found him in the street. <laughs> I thought the boy could take care of him. You don't have to worry about the expense. It, it wouldn't cost a penny. From the store, food, everything from the store. No uh, problem. My, JT. Look at here. Like a little bit of butter ball. Baby. Well, it's getting late. We thank you. Cute. Good night. Wait. It's a cute little thing. You forgot your muffler. Women. You all have mufflers on your mind. <laughs> Good night. Good night. What a thoughtful thing for him to do. So nice. It's beginning to look a little like Christmas, isn't it? You're just a little bitty ball of nothing. But your eyes is full of devilment. Ouch! You little devil! You take it. He's too rambunctious for me.
wanted to ask you for a job. I could do stacking or sweeping or anything you wanted to do. Honest. As a matter of fact, I could do with a little help. In fact, you can start right now. Thanks. Sarah? Oh, yes, and we need in the rice delivery. Write it down. What for? We have a half a cart full. <laughs> you know, Abe, that's a difference between us. For me, the carton is half empty. For you, it is half full. <laughs> I wonder who is right. You or me. I am right. Sarah, I have decided. The boy is coming to work for us. JT, I got a job for you. Take the tray with sausages and put it into the meat compartment. Wait! You catch your death. Do I in have there? to? Of course, it's like the North and South Pole put together in there. Do I? You know? Beginning to feel like Christmas. Thank you. 